Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about these guys. This is a signaling mirror. You'll notice it's got a little star in the middle, and I'm going to show you what that's for in just a little bit. But what these signaling mirrors are for is it allows you to reflect the sunlight into the path of a rescuer, whether it's a helicopter or a group out looking for you. So I'm going to show you how to use one of these. This is the commercially available one. These are only a couple bucks, a great thing to throw in your pack. And they're kind of multi-use, so they're nice. I've got a link for these in the description below if you want to check them out. But I'm also going to show you how to use something like this. This is a mirror I just picked up from the dollar store, but it's similar to one that you would find in like a compact uh, case for makeup or anything like that. So you can do this with a lot of different things. And at the very end of the video, I'm also gonna show you how to do this with some improvised items you probably have with you, even if you don't have a purposely bought signaling mirror. So stay tuned to the end of the video to check that out. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them down below. We'd be happy to answer them. Now, the first kind of signaling mirror I'm going to show you how to use is these. These are the commercial bot. It's got a little star. You can see that right in the middle there. And you can get these for a couple bucks. The second one I'm going to show you how to use is just a cheapy dollar store mirror or something like a compact or even something you would use to, you know, check your hair with. So how these work, I've got the sun over here to this side, is you can see that little star in the middle. Now, if you hold it, you want to get it so you're glinting it. You want to hold it up to your eye and you'll actually see through that little star, there's two ways to aim these. You can see through that little star, you'll actually see a little superimposed image of the sun in there. And you're gonna put the sun, as you see it through there, onto the object that you wanna glint the sun off of, whether that's a rescuer or a helicopter or whatever's coming to look for you. So you can do it this way. And get that, that little superimposed bit of sun and you can flash what you're doing. Now the other way to do it, and you can use with the other mirror I'll show you in a second, is you hold the mirror like this and you put two fingers out in front of you. And you want to illuminate, if you can see there, you want to illuminate your fingers. If you look through that, line it up through that, and whatever you're trying to glint it off of is through that, like just the V of your fingers, you can actually shine that little spotlight right off what you're trying to get its attention. You can do the exact same thing with one of these mirrors. Now this one is a folding mirror. It's actually got a little hole right there you can look through. If it doesn't have a hole to look through, you wanna just look, hold it right under your eye and line straight up. And if you're looking for something on a horizon, you can glint right off that. But I'm gonna show you how effective this thing is. Check this out. Now I've got my camera set up. I'm gonna walk pretty far that way. I'm probably gonna lose mic, but I'm gonna walk pretty far that way and use this mirror and this mirror, and you're gonna be able to see the glint. This can actually be seen from up to seven miles away. So now you see how effective one of these things can be. They say a mirror this big, which is only two square inches, can be seen for up to seven miles away by a rescuer. And they're gonna be looking for stuff like this. Um, this thing, even bigger of a mirror, you can see this from either further away. Now, if you don't have one of these, don't worry. There's other ways to do it. If you've got a watch and you've got a watch face that's reflective, that can work. If you've got a cell phone and that's reflective, that can work too, you can see right there. That can be obnoxious. Um, you can even use a pot lid. If you're out camping, you got a shiny pot lid, you can flip that over and shine that at whatever you need. So there's always a way to get this done if you need to. Now I do have a link for this one in the description below if you wanna check one of these out. These are nice if you're backpacking, you can use it to, you know, check out your sweet mustache or your five o'clock shadow. Um, but if you have any questions, put them down in the description below. If you've got other cool ideas, things you could use for signaling, let us know. And of course, thanks for watching.